What a, 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 a. Today's video is all about Halloween cocktails. But cocktails you can make at home because we're on lockdown. So watch on for four Halloween spooky cocktails that you can make at home. And I'm drinking one of these cocktails right here. This is a very special drink created by one of our friends, Stephen Mutty. Stephen's gonna tell us all about it. Stephen, come on down. Hello, I'm Stephen Mutty. I work at Lioness in London and I make tidy drinks for a living. So I'm gonna show you how to make some simple Halloween inspired cocktails from house for you and your friends to enjoy. First off, we're gonna make my zombie rum punch. Now, when I was making this drink, I was inspired by all the beautiful, warm and fruity flavours that you can get from a tiki style drink like a zombie. When I was going to look at the infusions, I thought popcorn would be like a really delicious infusion into a spice rum. So once we strain that off, you're combining it together with some like really delicious fruity flavours. It's a banging drink that everyone's going to enjoy. Once we've strained off the spice rum from the popcorn, what we're going to do is we're going to make a really cool raspberry syrup. Now not only does it look very cool but it's pretty tasty as well. With the raspberries we add some a handful of crushed toffee beans and what that's going to give is a really subtle sort of coffee flavour to your finished drink. With the sugar you leave that for 24 to 48 hours and it extracts all the flavours and all the juices into this really cool gloopy syrup. We're adding all of your ingredients into your shaker so that's got your spiced popcorn rum, it's got your clotted raspberry, your pineapple juice, lime juice as well, all with your ice shaken together to combine all those delicious flavours. Once it's shaken, fill your glass with ginger ale. It's gonna be really nice and effervescent, fruity and strong as well. When we're garnishing the drink, you've got some mint sprigs, your straw and a half lime wheel, which has got some overproof rum on there, which we set on fire, dusted with some, some cinnamon powder. Next off is the Nightmare Negroni. So based on the classic Italian aperitif drink, I've infused the spirits with some really cool ingredients which are going to give this drink a real nice uh, full flavour and full body. So you're taking your favourite gin, infusing that with some roasted pumpkin. That's going to give the drink a really cool vegetable flavour, yet that roasted flavour is going to give it some warmth as well. Now your classic Italian aperitif, typically quite a bitter flavour, but what we're going to add there is some vegan dark chocolate, giving it a nice warm warmth, smooth texture and also a delicious flavour of chocolate. Making a spice cider vermouth is going to bring some really cool flavours to the drink. Typically you'd use a sweet vermouth for a Negroni style drink but I thought the spice cider vermouth will bring a nice added warmth and some nice spices to the drink as well. So once we've cooked all those flavours together we're going to strain them off and let that cool down before adding it to the cocktail. So into your cocktail shaker, you're adding 50 mils of each ingredient, putting plenty of ice in there and giving it a good old stir for around about 20 seconds. Now that gives the drink the right temperature, also some dilution in there as well, so it's not super strong. Strain that into each of your glasses, top with ice, and uh, we're gonna put some of those roasted pumpkin slices on the side of your drink for your garnish as well. Proper spooky. Now I'm going to show you a glow in the dark gin and tonic. That's right. First off, we are going to start by making a little herby infusion. This is going to have some sugar dissolved into it to give it that lovely sweetness, but then we're going to hit it with some jasmine tea and also some rosemary and thyme. And just let that steep, let those flavours infuse, and we're adding a lovely floral herby base to what is going to become our gorgeous gin and tonic. Leave that to soup for about 10 or 15 minutes while you get on with everything else. Maybe have a little drink while you're busy. 
And then the next step, we are going to get a couple of glasses and some fruit. We've gone for blood oranges and lemon. Get some slices in there and also squeeze in the juice as well, getting as much as you can in there. Think how delicious that's gonna be. Acidity, flavor, freshness, as well as all of those herbs, all going together in this wonderful glass. Do use a strainer and now we'll pour in our infusion. Don't forget to add the gin. <laughs> You could add ice at this point if you wish, but we're gonna leave it without ice for this video to have it a nice room temperature drink, which is always a good option. Then top up with tonic water, get that beautiful fizz and have a little sip. It looks amazing in broad daylight. Doesn't that look like a gorgeous thing? But of course, the minute that you turn on an ultraviolet light or a black light, it's gonna turn Fluorescent, that's right, because the quinine in the tonic glows in the dark. Madness. <laughs> Next up, let's see our spicy chili Bloody Mary. This is an absolute game changer of a cocktail. The perfect Sunday get up for around that winter season because it's a Bloody Mary, which is perfect on a Sunday but it's also spicy, which is gonna give you that kind of warming comfort that you need around the kind of autumn or fall period. Now we're gonna rim our glass by putting some ginger syrup on it and then dipping it in those chili flakes and also some toasted sesame seeds. That's gonna add some real fire and some real flavor in the form of those toasted sesame seeds. Next up, we will get on with making our Bloody Mary. We're gonna use a blender, because there's a few solid ingredients going in. And what you'll see is we're gonna layer up different spicy ingredients. We've got some chili going in there. We've got a Henderson's relish, that's gonna give it that lovely umami. We're gonna put a ginger stem ball in. That's gonna give it a kind of Asian flair as well. And some gochujang paste or sriracha goes in as well. So this is very much a kind of Asian spiced themed Bloody Mary. Absolutely delicious. And look at that, ready to go. Blitz that, add your vodka, then don't forget to get some ice in there. This one definitely will benefit from ice. You wanna cool it down, maybe start to dilute it just a touch. Pop that ice in and just shake it directly in the bullet blender. Before we pour it, we're obviously going to dress up our glass. It's a Bloody Mary after all, so get some celery in there. It's quite nice to get those little flowery bits as well as a big stem. Pour your drink in carefully. You don't want to get that blood red on your nice white t-shirt. And then the final icing on the cake is going to be some gorgeous little chili peppers, which we've stuck on some vegan friendly edible eyes. It's a bit silly, it's Halloween-y. We're doing this for, you know, a Halloween at home kind of vibe. So get some spooky little chilies on there, like Henry and Ian. There they are, looking beautiful, that is our spicy chili Bloody Mary. There you have it guys, four delicious cocktails, hope you've enjoyed them. Two from me and two from Henry, let's get the guys in to taste them. Let's see how this zombie tastes. -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is pretty punchy. You done pretty well there mate, well done. Goodness, love that popcorn flavour coming through. And oh my god, you get that little hint of coffee in there as well. Absolutely gorgeous, sweet, zingy, zesty. What a banging zombie. Oh, look at this. What have we got here then, man? We've got a zombie on punch. A zombie? It's in my head! Right, let's have a little sip. Oh, mm -hmm. Is there popcorn in there? Yeah, there is. Oh my goodness me, it sounds, it tastes like a, a cinema on a Saturday night. You love popcorn. I love popcorn. Honestly, popcorns are amazing. And this is very, very delicious indeed. Woo! Thank you very much for that, man. Lovely. Oof, banging. Yeah, you get the chocolate in there. The spice vermouth, the gin, yeah, absolute banger. Happy? I would say so, yeah. So there you have it, four absolutely banging Halloween-y cocktails. Hope you've enjoyed them. Hope you'll make some, whether you're having a party with friends or a party at home, because the situation is weird right now, right? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and we will see you next time.